Welcome back to Kinetics and Reaction Mechanisms in Catalyst University. My name is Kevin Tokoff. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for future videos and notifications. All right, so this is what we're going to do in this video. All right, I'm going to show you a very analytical way to determine what happens to the initial rate if we change the concentration of either reactants in this equation or this rate law. Rate is equal to K, the rate constant, times A to the first times B to the second. So the first question we have, which you can see over here, is what we'll deal with first. And I'm going to show you the analytical way of doing it first. But after that, I'm going to show you the quick way of doing it. So depending on what your professor wants, you see either way. What will the initial rate be if A is halved and B is tripled? All right, let's look at the analytical way first. All right, so my rate, I'm just going to designate that as R. My rate is going to be K times concentration of A times concentration of B squared. All right, that's my, this is my, I'll call this rate one. The analytical way to, to look at this is to say, I'm going to look at a number n, and n is going to be the factor by which the initial rate, rate one, changes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say this is, this is equal to k times, a is half, so I'm going to throw one half in front of a, times b is tripled. I'm going to throw a b, or a 3 in front of the b, but I have to remember to square this, all right? And I want to figure out what n is, all right? So n times the first rate is equal to k times, I can pull all of these numbers out if I remember to apply the exponents to them. So this is going to be times 1 half times 3 is squared times 9, and then I'm going to have the A times concentration of B squared. So what I did is I just applied, I basically distributed each of these exponents. One half doesn't, nothing happens to it because it's to the first power, but 3 is squared along with B. So remember, 3B squared is the same thing as 9 times B squared. All right? So what I'm going to do now is say N times R1 is equal to, I'm going to pull these two numbers out in front, 9 halves, times k a times b squared. Now one thing I'm going to recognize here is that rate one is literally equal to all this. They're equal quantities, so even though they don't look the same, they actually just cancel out. If rate one is equal to k times a times b squared, you could essentially just say all of this is just r1. And so if you have R1 on this side, R1 on this side, they just cancel. And that means N, the factor by which the rate changes, is 9 halves. So that means the rate when I change everything, R2, is going to be 9 halves times R1, which we said was up here 0. Oops, 0 0.0990 molar per second. Let me plug that in. 9 divided by 2 times 0 0.0990. And I got that this rate, the new rate, is going to be 0.4455 molar per second. And that's my answer. Okay. Now, if you didn't want to do it the rigorous analytical way, all right, there's a much simpler way to really figure it out. Okay. And that's what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come up here and rewrite. So rate is equal to K times A times concentration of B squared. All I really have to do is say if I half A, I'm just going to say A is 1 half. I can think of it this way to the 1 half power. B is tripled, so I'm going to throw a, B, a, a 3 in for B, and that's squared. What does this equal? 1 half times 3 squared, which is 9, so 9 halves. Then whatever number I get here, I just multiply that times 0 0.0990 molar per second, and I'm going to get the same thing I got over here. Okay, the way I did it first is the rigorous analytical way, but if you wanted to get the answer really quickly, just plug whatever you increase or decrease A by, which is a half, plug that in for A, 
If you triple B, you'll plug a three in for B, but remember to square it, you get nine halves, multiply that times the initial rate, and that's your new rate, 0.4455 molar per second. All right, now what we're gonna do is look at the other case. What if I triple A in half B? What happens? Remember that my rate law is equal to K times the concentration of A times the concentration of B squared. Now remember, I'm tripling A this time and halving B, the opposite of what I did in the first case. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do this the quick way just so you can see. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to say, okay, well, I'm tripling A, so I'm going to plug a 3 in for A, right, to the first power. And then I'm halving B, so I'm going to plug a half in for B, but remember to square it. And what is this? This is going to be 3 times, and then 1 half squared is 1 fourth, or 3 fourths. Okay? So now I just take this number, and I multiply it times my initial rate. So 0 0.0990 molar per second times 3 fourths is going to be my new rate. We'll call it R3. Let's multiply this. 0 0.0990 times 3 divided by 4. And I get this new rate, R3, is 0 0.0743 approximately molar per second. All right? So that's how I go about figuring out these quantities. All right? So more or less what you do if you're given the rate law, which is shown up here, if you know by what factor you're increasing a particular reactant, just plug that number in, like if you're tripling A, plug three in for A. If you're halving B, plug half, one half in for B, remembering to apply the exponents to each, and whatever number that equals when you multiply the two, that's the factor by which you multiply by the initial rate, which is right there. And whatever number that is, when you multiply them, that's the new rate, all right? So hopefully this made sense. Uh, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for future videos and notifications. Thank you.